I'm stranded. Please, please send help. What's up, guys? Uh, as you can see, a little bit different, a little bit different setup today. Uh, I'm actually stranded in New York. Um, flew from St. Louis to uh, to New York on Friday or on Thursday to uh, to then drive to Philly for the Ring of Honor show on Saturday and for the Royal Rumble on Sunday. Um, and of course, weather storm, whatever it's called, Juno or whatever, came and swamped on New York's ass. And now here I am stuck in New York at uh, at my girlfriend's parents' house. No videos, no computer, just this laptop and a webcam that her her dad had. And I don't know how this is gonna look. I don't know how it's gonna sound, but that's that's my current situation. I'm stranded. I can't get anywhere. I'm trapped. Um, but I wanted to do a Rumble review real quick because I know a lot of people were asking me about my uh, my thoughts about it and all that kind of stuff. Um, to get started. Before I start, before I get into that, um, these next couple days, there's probably going to be videos like this. I'm not going to be able to do my normal series uh, until I get back, which should probably be hopefully Wednesday, but it's looking like most likely Thursday. So it's all, pardon me if I'm if I'm a little uh, cranky <laughs> or um, just kind of not not 100% right now, but um, I wanted to get something for you guys because I, obviously I appreciate all the support you've given me and I don't want to, you know back down just because of a stupid ass storm um my voice as you can probably tell is almost gone from from last night uh the danger zone sign in the crowd was completely coincidental that wasn't me it was someone that was sitting literally right in front of me um and we were talking for a little bit he didn't recognize me and i wasn't about to be like hey do you know who? like i'm not fucking kanye west and i'm like do you know who i am like that no so um it was purely coincidental that there was a sign right in front of me that said danger zone on it but everybody thought everybody thought that was me but that was not me um i had the red danger zone shirt i don't know if anybody saw it but um i did not have a sign what else did i want to say before i got right into the review um the ring of honor show on saturday was incredible uh if you've never seen the ring of honor show it's it's pure wrestling and it was one of the best wrestling shows i've ever been to in my entire life um okay rumble um it started off great the uh the triple threat World Heavyweight Championship match was incredible. I'm so glad Seth Rollins had a chance to show off what he's capable of doing because he's incredible, and I've been a supporter of his for for a while now. So I'm glad that he kind of got to have his uh, his spot and and his uh, his moment in the sun. And then the Rumble match came. Um, now there's a lot of shit going. I'm gonna try to clip in also pictures and stuff from from yesterday's event if I can. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on on Twitter, you know, cancel WWE Network and, and all this kind of stuff. There's a lot of backlash. Trust me when I when I say that I understand that. I understand, you know, some people just have the network for the pay-per-views. So if you only have network for the pay-per-views, I, I don't blame you at all for, for canceling your network subscription after um, just the way everything's been booked lately. It's just not, it's not up to par, you know? And, and, and this isn't like sour grapes. I'm not trying to sound like... Um, complaining and i know it might come off like that because like i said i'm i'm i want to complain really bad i'm stranded uh in new york i can't get home didn't have that great of a time at the rumble so so part of me wants to complain but i'm gonna try to keep it to a uh to a minimum i'm not against roman reigns being uh in the title picture i'm not he's not in my opinion 100 percent ready for it but i'm not against him him getting that push the issue is I think a lot of people are making the mistake that Philly was just mad that Daniel Bryan didn't win. No, that's that's not what it was. Uh, people aren't upset just because Daniel Bryan didn't win. It's it's a bigger picture. It's the fact that the the entire company has been so poorly, aside from Survivor Series, and I was live at Survivor Series. I can tell you that event was incredible. Um, aside from that one event, just since WrestleMania 30, it's just been it's been subpar. It's been just bad. Just poorly booked. Um, the logic is is completely missing, um, and there's no rhyme or reason to anything. I, I I don't like seeing Vince McMahon come on Stone Cold's podcast and say we listen to the fans all the time. You know our product is all about the fans. It's all about the fans. No no it's fucking not because last night you slapped your your loyal fans in the face. You legit slapped us in the face. Um, and again, nothing against Roman Reigns. Legit at all, nothing against Roman Reigns. I actually like Roman Reigns. 
Um, again, I don't think he might be 100% ready for that spot yet, but he's he's been improving. He's getting there. I'm okay with them bringing up uh, new blood in some way, shape, or form. But at the same time, um, the entire Rumble just didn't make sense. Why would you eliminate Daniel Bryan so early? Were you hoping that we would forget about it by by the end of the match and then we won't, you know, boo Roman anymore? Um, and that's another th reason why I feel like sometimes we're, we're slapped in the face. Our intelligence is... Uh, is often is often questioned, and I feel like they believe that we won't remember something that happened 15 seconds ago. Like we saw Daniel Bryan get eliminated nonchalantly, no big deal, whatever. Um, I haven't heard the commentary yet because because uh, I was at the event and I didn't get to see it on the playback yet. So I don't know if it was like made a big deal on the show itself, um, but live it's just like oh Daniel Bryan's gone, and like legit everyone around me was just like what the fuck just happened. Um, so, okay, so you don't want Daniel Bryan to win, that's fine. Um, Ambrose, Ambrose comes out, probably the best reaction since Daniel Bryan. Um, you know, Philly was pretty much like, okay, you know, let's, let's, they booed everything from, from that point forward. Um, and Daniel Bryan chance when, went off. Uh, but when Ambrose came out, it was kind of like, okay, you know, we can get behind Ambrose. You're not shoving him in our face. We like, you know, the world likes him. Ambrose is a good choice. So let's get behind Ambrose. He goes out by, like, fucking Big Show and Kane, I think. Come on. Um, number 30. Oh, we know. This is WWE now. We know. They're going to be mad about Daniel Bryan. They're going to be mad about Dean Ambrose. Let's bring Dolph out at number 30 uh, to, to soften the blow. That's, again, that's their logic. That's their way of thinking. Um, so Dolph comes out. What, five minutes later? He's gone. Now the crowd is like, what the fuck? Like, what the hell is actually happening? And then Roman eventually wins whatever. Um, people maybe not as close to the situation. Fans who might not be as invested as as a larger portion of the fans might just think that this is about people hating Roman Reigns. Um, and people are like, oh, well, you know, you wanted Roman to win last year, and now everyone doesn't. Like, it's not about Roman Reigns. It's really not. For some people, it might be. Some people might not like Roman. For me, it's not about Roman Reigns. For me, it's about... Um, just the blatant disrespect for ugh, God, I, I hate to sound like like an entitled viewer like a blatant disrespect for the people that keep you in business like the loyal viewers that watch and then enjoy the program and i've said this a thousand times um when i have something negative to say about wwe it's not because you know i'm trying to be sour grapes or try to be negative i like to keep things very positive but at the same time i want this company to be better that's why I say these things. I want them to be, you know, on the level that they used to be. And I know they can be. Um, it's just a very out of touch uh, mindset that they have right now. They don't listen to their fans. They don't appreciate uh, the people who are really putting the work in. This was Dolph Ziggler's year. You gave him five minutes in the Rumble? Really? Why give him number 30? Uh, just for a quick, you know, oh, okay, he's number 30. Maybe he'll win. No, like, give him something more worthwhile. And then and then The Rock comes out. Um, I've been a fan for a long time. I've seen The Rock in person maybe three or four times. Not many times. So I always enjoy seeing The Rock in person when that music hits. Oh, my God, when that music hits, it's, it's over. It, people go crazy. But when that music hit, I was just like, Okay, Rock's here. I mean, we all kind of knew. I mean, like, he posted on stuff on the internet or whatever. We all kind of knew Rock might be there. So it wasn't a, a complete shock. But at the same time, like, I was upset because I wasn't as excited about The Rock being there. Because of just how poorly the entire night went. So Rock comes out makes the save. And, and uh, you know, Rusev comes back. And I was, part of me was kind of hoping Rusev would take it. Just, just, just as a way for WWE to almost almost to say like okay we acknowledge the fact that most of you don't think Roman is ready so here you know let's let's mix it up a little bit um but that didn't happen and Roman went on to win um uh, again not against Roman if I, i'm sure a lot of you might have watched my live streams recently every time i do a live stream of WWE um i get at least like legitimately 50 or 60 times for a live stream Dank, who's going to win the Rumble? Who do you think is going to win the Rumble? Who's your pick to win? And what did I always say? What did I always say? 
I say it's probably going to be Roman, but I would like it to be, you know, maybe Ambrose or, or Ziggler or something like that. Um, and I never had a bad word to say about it. I was like, yeah, it's probably going to be Roman. It is what it is. Um, I think him versus Brock could be a good match. I don't think that match is going to be bad. Um, again, I just don't think he's ready for that spot yet. But once more, this is not about Roman winning the Rumble. It's about uh, the bigger picture of WWE just, just not you know, like not getting it. You, you like you just don't get it. Two years in a row now, Royal Rumble used to be like just barely under WrestleMania as far as like the most anticipated event of the entire year. And two years in a row now, you just just completely struck out. Um, and it's, it could have been avoided. I think that's, that's one of the things I'm also a little angry about. It's like, you knew this was coming. Not only are you in Philadelphia, one of the just most horrific places <laughs> to do a WWE event. I mean, the crowds are always crazy, but not always crazy in the best way. Uh, you knew this was coming. You absolutely knew this was coming. So why, why throw Daniel Bryan out? so early why you know eliminate ambrose and ziggler so nonchalantly um why not use that to your advantage you know you could have had the rumble come down to ambrose reigns daniel bryan ziggler like imagine that the place would have been going crazy if you had the final four like that oh also bubba ray coming out was insane uh, uh that was he got a huge reaction uh boogeyman was was pretty cool too and ddp oh my god we all went crazy when ddp came out but, you know, the finish, it's like so close but so far. Roman could have won and, and it didn't have to be that bad. You could have done it in a way where Roman still wins. Um, where Maybe they were afraid of like, okay, well, if we have Daniel Bryan in the final four and then he gets out, you know, if it comes down to him and Roman, then Roman's definitely going to get booed. Like the point, the fact of the matter is Roman's going to get booed regardless. It's Philadelphia. But you can lessen the blow. By the way you do it, now, I just it, they don't seem to get that. They don't seem to realize that for some reason. Um, I'll tell you what. There's a. Uh, I recently saw a an advertisement for WWE's looking for writers, um, which is kind of funny. But um, I don't know. A lot. A lot of people like to talk about. Oh, if I was you know a writer, I'd write such better shit. Like I know it's it's such a different beast from you know us being able to sit here and just talk about it and then actually being part of it. And writing it and going through it and going through that stress and the weekly grind of all that kind of stuff. Um, but I'll tell you what, man. I, I, it has crossed my mind to, <laughs> to put my name in the hat and just send them something. Because I, they just they need something. They need um, a point of view that, you know, they hire writers from Fox and from NBC and people who have like drama and comedy backgrounds and stuff. And that's fine for little elements in between. But you need people who uh, are rooted in... Not only professional wrestling, but like this whole internet age. Um, you know, you need someone who understands both sides of the coin. And no one that works there right now does that. So until, unfortunately, until Triple H is in, is in complete charge, or un until something drastic happens, um, I don't see a change coming for a long time. And that, that's disappointing. You know, as someone who, who enjoys uh wrestling as much as i do that's disappointing to know that you know this probably isn't going to change for a uh for a very long time so overall um not too great of a weekend <laughs> i gotta say uh like i said the world the royal rumble the ring of honor show was incredible um with bullet club and and matt side out like it's just an incredible main event an incredible show overall pure wrestling um I think it's going to be televised in the next couple of weeks, so so if you get Ring of Honor near you, definitely check that out. Um, what else? And here I am, just stranded and and kind of angry, <laughs> trying to make the best of a uh, of a pretty shitty situation. But this is kind of what we got to deal with for the next couple of days. So, um, if you do me a big favor, I'm going to try to do a Q and A tomorrow, kind of the same kind of thing, webcam situation. Um, so leave me your questions in the comment section below. Anything you want, you know, you don't, it doesn't have to be just wrestling questions, personal questions, career questions, whatever. You guys know, um, what I'm involved in and the stuff I like to do. So ask me questions about all that. Um, I should be able to stream tomorrow. I just have my laptop, so I might be able to stream Minecraft tomorrow, but that's going to be about it. Um, 
And I have a big announcement about Twitch. A lot of things have been happening on Twitch with my live stream stuff. So I'll probably talk about that tomorrow as well. Uh, but that's going to be it for this for now. I think I pretty much covered everything. I'm stuck here for a couple days. So the next couple videos are going to be, you know, oriented uh, around this type of stuff. So this begins the little mini series of me stranded <laughs> in, uh, in the snow apocalypse. But... I guess it's going to wrap this up. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe now for more. And I'll catch you in the next couple days with some other cool random stuff. I hope you enjoyed this little off-the-cuff shit. And um, I'll see you guys soon.